Hello. How are you guys doing? Let's talk about why the redshift again. This is like a just a different way of looking at the logic of it. Um, so, right, there's flat space, right? And now we're going to put some dents in flat space, right? So, like, let's say, right, like, this is a very acceptable diagram. This is exactly what people would be expecting to see if they saw a space diagram, right? And so this is like a galaxy and this is another galaxy. And basically all I'm saying is, hey, wait, there is interstellar medium out there. You know, that's not nothing. It's something. And that certainly adds up after you go like 100 million light years or 300 million light years or a couple of billion light years. That interstellar medium nothingness that we can't see at all. It doesn't even hardly absorb anything because what if it can't? So that would give a curve. This gives a curve. Wouldn't that give a curve? After a while? You know? And then notice the thing is that overall, this ends up just being a curvier, actually, these would have to go down because now, you know, the ends have to go down too because the whole thing just gets curvier and curvier the further you look away. And it just gets curvier and curvier the further you look away till you can't see any further. And these pinch points as I described earlier, it's like if you put this, if you put like even markers like this on the surface, right? This is space, absolute space is the metric of space. And I even even densified the metric over here for its gravity well. And we're just, I'm just counting on the curve of space itself to demonstrate that, you know, this is only if you you know, you bring these lines up to some arbitrary absolute, all of a sudden, this is here, this is here. This is a little splayed extra far leading up to here, but all of a sudden, these are actually closer together than they were before. Much closer together. Much closer together than they were before. Oh, so that's a blue shift near a gravity well. Though overall, there's going to be a red shift to the universe. There's blue shifts around localized gravity wells because they're pinches, constrictions. But this overall is an expansion in all directions from us of observer stretching out space just a little bit. So that's the idea.